is a fantastic little robot. It's made out of cheap materials. This one's made out of a cardboard box, but you can use different materials. It's got some simple electronics that connect to the Wi-Fi. And the great thing is, you control it using an app made on AppShare. So once you've assembled your app car, we're ready to drive it. You just download the app from AppShed. It's a web app, so it runs in the browser. And you can control it with the little joystick screen. That's the easiest way to drive it. So let me show you a few of the different types of cars that you can build. This one, our standard one, is in a cardboard box. Really easy to build because it's got all the components inside and it's quite easy to align the wheels as well. Our flagship design is this kind of diamond shape. This works nicely because the wheels have got a good distance between them, so it's easy to rotate and to balance using this. And we just put a, a trolley wheel, normally one trolley wheel at the back, it's fine. Um, we, we like making them out of cardboard quite a lot because it's very quick and cheap, and also it's easy to adapt it. So where you put your holes, you just take a pair of scissors and you can move those around. So, for example, if you wanted to add other features, um, it's, it's quite easy to just put a pen on it and make a hole through that if you're using cardboard. So these are some of the more um, standard designs, but here's one of our robots, we call this Robbie, the recycled robot. He's made out of a, a bunch of different recycled materials. This is something you hang your socks up on the line with. That's an AC adapter. It's quite fun, we gave ourselves a challenge. What can you build using recycled materials? And his arms even move. He can play basketball. So you might be wondering a bit about the space that we're in here. We call this the App Shed Arena. So all this equipment around me is internet-connected sensors and devices. It's all about the internet of things. So as we drive our car around, we might drive underneath a distance sensor. And that can tell us that the car is just driven there. And these sort of things help us to understand how the internet of things interfaces with the modern world, with cars, with machinery, that kind of thing. So as you turn a switch on and off here, it might turn one of our lights on, and that helps us to simulate what happens in the real world with the Internet of Things. So what happens when your car just won't drive in a straight line? This is normally due to wheel imbalancing. Well, there are a number of calibration settings where you can calibrate any aspect of the app car. So the wheel balancing on the left and the right, very simply put in different values to adjust and get the car to drive straight. The same goes for rotation. You work out the time that it takes to do a full rotation, you enter the value, and your car is calibrated. So I hope you had some fun driving your app car using the joystick controls. But it's time to take it up a level. It's time to do some programming. Now, app car supports a great little programming language called Turtle Logo. It's really simple. Forward 100, or FD 100, will drive the app car forward by 100 millimeters. How about turning? Right turn 90, or RT 90, will turn 90 degrees to the right. And there are just a few more commands just like those, and putting them all together allows you to create some really fantastic little autopilot programs. What we've done is we've mapped out the arena, the track, and we've measured each of the sides and put those on the board. We can then work out which commands we need to write. So for example, our first command is forward 1,780 millimeters. We're then gonna do a left turn and then go forward 1,100. And so you go through the whole list and the app car will drive around the track following these commands. So here's a really fun little extra feature you can add onto your app car. We've put a pen through the middle of the cardboard we just made a hole and we attached it with some cable ties. And we've used a little servo motor to move the pen up and down. We've got two logo commands that you can use to control the pen. Pen up is PU and PD to put the pen back down again. And using the combination of this and your forward movement, you can actually draw shapes and even letters on the ground using your app car pen. So I hope you can see there are many possibilities with AppCar. It's really up to your creativity and your ideas, whether you program it or whether you drive it manually. Have fun and get building with AppCar.